They love their women's basketball here in Ames, Iowa. Your whole life, you will have challenges that people tell you you cannot handle. Number one thing, you got to believe you can do it. You got to believe you can do it. From record-setting crowds to All-American players, from big-time victories to championship memories, there's no place quite like Iowa State. And this crowd just goes crazy with that kind of health magic. It's the best start in program history for Bill Finley and the Cyclones. They move to a perfect 13-0. They will go to 2-0 in Big 12 conference play. The atmosphere here at Ames, as good as any in the country for the women's game. And while the Cyclones have earned a great reputation all across the country, here's an inside look at Iowa State women's basketball. This is a great environment for women's college basketball. He has created all of that and built it from nothing to what it is right now. There's a culture here. There's a belief system here. Uh, there's a way we do things. And our fans want to see, want to be around special young people, someone who believes and takes great pride in wearing the jersey, understands they're going to a very high level academic uh, challenge, and, and someone who gets the tradition and wants to understand that but wants to build on the future. God has blessed me with this amazing opportunity to be a part of such a great program with amazing teammates, coaches, and fans. It's been an honor to be a part of the Cyclone family. I feel blessed to have many great memories to cherish for the rest of my life. I love the person and player that I have become. The magic of Hilton has spread throughout my heart, and because of you, that magic shines in me like a star. It's a very special person that comes in place here, and, and we know that the people we get are the kind of people that we want to be around every day and uh, the kind of people that our fans enjoy watching and supporting. Family is a word that's been thrown around a lot, uh, especially in recruiting, but uh, it's what we're about. You have to be around people that care about you. You have to be around people uh, that understand what this is all about. And, and I think that uh, that's something we take great pride in here. And it's just the way we built it. That's the way it's always going to be here. And uh, that's the way it should be. That is vintage Iowa State basketball. A good look at the crowd in attendance. There have been people in Hilton Coliseum since 11 o'clock this morning. I talked to some of the students and asked them how long they had to wait for those seats. They said, a long time, but it's <laughs> worth it. It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen in, in, in all my years of coaching college basketball. You're talking about the most devoted, loyal fan base I've ever seen. The emotional attachment to our team is unbelievable. Uh, the notes we get, the emails we get, the, uh, the, the things that, that people want to do and want to be a part of are, are just incredible. In fact, Iowa State, the fans rank so high, they lead the Big 12 in attendance and are second nationally. There's no better feeling than playing in front of that crowd. I mean, it just, the, the feeling you get, it, you can't describe it. I think our fans look on the court and say, hey, those are our kids. Those are, those are my daughters and granddaughters and nieces. And I think they see something special in the way they conduct themselves and the way they do things. And I think the, the way that our program has grown over time is, is, is a direct correlation to our fan base. Do you see why it's so tough to win here, man? you see what happens when they start lighting it up? It is something special. And, and there is magic in the building. And, you know, we could go through a whole video of games where you walked off the court and, and honestly, we, w we don't win if it's not for our fans. A big reason why I chose to come to Iowa State is because I felt at home here and the fans are always absolutely amazing. <laughs> I came to watch games at Hilton and was in awe. The noise from the crowd was so intense that it felt like my seat was shaking. 
I dreamed of being down on this court and having people cheer for me as I played the game that I love with my teammates. Well, what a frenzied crowd we have here at Hilton Coliseum. You want to go out there and play in, in front of something like that. Besides their personal experience with their friends, the great education they get at Iowa State, the one thing our players will say to you, I want one more time. Coach, can I, I just want one more chance to play at Hilton. There's nothing I wouldn't give to come back. I'd give back a WNBA championship to come and play for you again just one more time. And that says a lot about their experience and what our fans have done for our kids and, and for our team. Facilities is, is, is part of the recruiting process and part of what student athletes look at. And what Iowa State has done to their credit is provided a really broad base facility plan so that our student athletes can be successful no matter what. Obviously you have Hilton Coliseum, a great place to play. Uh, the Hickson Lead Academic Center is a phenomenal place for them to go and, and do their academic stuff. And then basketball wise, the Sioux Cup basketball complex is, is truly special. It's just us and men's basketball. They can get in here anytime they want. Uh, they can go on the court and shoot anytime they want. Basketball players love to shoot, love to work on their game. Uh, they can come in here, turn their music on. Uh, they can hang out here in the lounge and, and, and do their homework. We have training facility, weight facilities. Our offices are here. You spend a lot of time in basketball in, in this environment, and so you want to be in a place where you're comfortable, in a place where we can go, we can identify it's ours. Our kids will go up into the theater room and watch movies, you know, on, on a Friday or Saturday night or something. I mean, it's become something that has been truly special and something that I think our players really, really have a great sense of pride in. See the bump, persisted through. See the bump, finished. That is toughness out of a young player. I think the two things that probably have impacted the success of, of student athletes in general are number one, we have a full-time academic counselor in Jeff Sessler, which we've had for a long time. And then this year we added a full-time strength and conditioning coach. Coach Link, his expertise, he looks at all game films, you know, he looks at every single kid and can do something. If you're working with a lot of teams, you can't do that. But Coach Link's done an amazing job. I think that he can do it in a way where uh, each individual kid is addressed in certain ways. For strength and conditioning, we want to develop a better basketball player, okay? For us, to have the basketball courts right next to the weight room, it allows me as a strength and conditioning coach to utilize special exercises. With the weight room here, uh, it's so convenient, they don't have to go anywhere else. We can schedule it anytime we want. We have all the equipment we need, uh, all the machines that we need, whether it's for rehab, the pool, the, the weights, everything. Christofferson inside, hours for weight. That's why we train every day, to help them become a better athlete and perform on the court. And just a great finish. The administration has been very supportive and it's and for athletic training as well to grow with that. We've hired a lot more new people since I started here and that's allowed me to spend more time with women's basketball. Now I pretty much can dedicate most of my time to women's basketball. Having a whole facility that's equal to the men's programs is just a huge uh, credit to our administration and to women's basketball in general that has grown so rapidly. It's great to see our athletes get the same benefits as the men. You want to surround the student athletes with the best medical care you can get and Iowa State has always done that but Denise is truly one of the more special people. She is around these kids every day, all the time. It's not just physical health, there's some mental health that goes with it and, and talking them through things. Denise has that motherly feel and the amazing expertise that it takes to be successful and in a very important area, whether it's nutrition, uh, preventative is issues, the, the stuff that we have in the training room, it gives some comfort to the kids. The basic philosophy is always the same. We're trying to get athletes back to participation as safely as possible and as soon as possible. And I don't think that's changed over the years, it's just we do have more tools to allow us to do that safely. The student athlete experience is, is something that's very important to our university and, and since the first day I got here and certainly something we take great pride in. Uh, I've been a head coach 25 years, uh, 18 at Iowa State. Every single kid that, that's finished here has graduated. Probably of all the things that we've done and all the trophies and banners, whatever, that's the thing I'm the most proud of. 
because that's truly what this is about. The academic experience they get here is, is tremendous. They're going to get an education that they can take with them. The support is something that's fantastic. We have a full-time academic advisor in Jeff Sessler. The Hickson Lead Center, as we mentioned earlier, uh, is a great facility that's just gone through another upgrade with computers and monitors and all the stuff that they need. And I tell kids when they come, if you want to be successful here, you're going to be successful as a student. You will get every, every resource needed to make sure that that happens. That's our responsibility. And what we want to do is we want to be special in everything we do. That's the kind of experience that, that, that they've gotten here and uh, whether it's advising and, and counseling and tutoring and all those kinds of things. There's, there's nothing that we cannot offer a student athlete academically that they, that they need. I remember when I interviewed for the job, someone told me, you just think about world-class education if you want to build a world-class basketball program. And that's kind of the way we've approached it since the very first day. And the, the school has uh, followed suit and put together the resources it takes for these kids to be successful. It is the game, Iowa State and Baylor. That is the hardware. Tremendous success throughout the course of Big 12 history. The dean of the Big 12 coaches. The great thing about the Big 12, it, 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 is, it is truly something special. It doesn't matter what you look at, whether it's attendance, we're always at the top, whether it's the RPI numbers that, that rate conference, we've been at the top. Good basketball right now, Big 12 basketball. Exactly why this league is, in my opinion, year in and year out, the premier league in college basketball for women. It is the highest level you can get unless you're a professional, and that's what I tell people. The Cyclones have won the Big 12. To be successful in this league takes a lot. We've had our share of success, which we're very, very proud of, and when you go out and do things in this league, you can do it against the best. Brinn buries the three-pointer, and a Prince coming off a 30-point game. Moody is so good. She leads the conference in assists yeah. per game, and that's how she benefits this team is by distributing the ball. If you want to be challenged in, in the classroom and truly be challenged on the court, Iowa State's a great opportunity because of what we can offer you in the classroom and the opportunity to play in the best basketball league in the country. She is closing in on becoming the 14th player in Big 12 history to have 1,000 points and 1,000 rebounds, which is pretty rare company in this history of the Big 12 Conference. The exposure that, that all of our student athletes get is, is very good. Uh, you know, we have a great television package through the Big 12, and uh, now Cyclones.TV has become a huge deal. I think because you have a quality program and, and a program where fans come out, you play in the league we do, people are very interested in, in what we're doing on a daily basis. So uh, I, I don't think there's any way that uh, our, our families and friends uh, can't follow uh, our players. Uh, we've never had that complaint. But I think because of the success of our league and the success of our program, there's more and more opportunities to expose our sport and our student athletes to the, to the country. Just an incredible, talented, skilled, highly skilled six foot three player. With the 10th pick in the 2010 WNBA draft, the Seattle Storm selects Allison Lacey from Iowa State University. When kids come here to play, um, some of them truly have the dream that they want to continue to play and, and play professionally. Uh, I think we've had the second most number of WNBA draft picks. We have a wall of names of people that have been drafted, and uh, so it's a great sense of pride for them, for our program. Coach always says, you know, it's not about what you do, it's how hard you work. And in WNBA, it's all about your work ethic and competing. That's the biggest thing they talk about is uh, how competitive you are. And that's exactly what Coach Finley taught me through my four years. So I felt prepared as I could going into it. And uh, Coach Finley was always there when I needed to talk to him when I was in the, in the league, in the WNBA. So yeah, he definitely prepared me. Seattle Storm uh, just off the board here with Chelsea Poppins out of <laughs> Iowa State. She can go out and shoot on the perimeter, but she will also go inside in the paint and do the dirty work. Coach Finley, thank you for always pushing me harder to get better and never backing off or giving up on me. You helped me become the person I am today. I couldn't have asked for a more mentally toughening coach who cares about each and every one of us with all your heart. Because of the success of our team, the way our kids are coached, the development they make from start to finish, people follow us. The league knows about us. Uh, we have a lot of them at our games. Uh, they've drafted our kids in the past. We've had kids play overseas. If you're talented enough and you want to put in the time and the effort, then our program has proven to have the ability 
because we, the way we play, the way our kids develop, the league we play in, the competition we face, they're going to get that opportunity. If they have that dream, then it's certainly something that we've proven that we can help them achieve. I love how Bill Finley fostering yeah. the, the young fans, getting these young kids and their families into the stands. Great crowd today, as always, here in Ames, Iowa. This is one of my favorite places to come to. I've never been more excited about uh, where, the, where the university is as a whole, uh, the leadership of Dr. Leith and Jamie Pollard, the excitement, the, the passion that, that people have in Iowa State Athletics. There's nothing that we don't have now. We play in a great league, which is stable. We have a great facility. We've always had great academics. I have a, a staff that's phenomenal. It's a great, great situation to be in. And what I tell people all the time, this is a phenomenal place. But they are one of the best supported teams in the country. In Ames, Iowa, they love their women's basketball. The people who come here, who have a true passion to be the best at something, who want to put in the time, who want to be surrounded by great people, who believe in themselves and have a dream and a, and a plan and a vision for the future, Iowa State's a place those things can happen. It's been proven and now it can get even better. I truly believe in my heart and my soul that the best is still to come. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing where that takes us. That is vintage Iowa State basketball.